which are the main advantage to invest in properties in Dubai? I said that many times before. In the last in the last 10 years, you need to make a minimum between six to eight thousand dollars per month. If you really want to buy this one, buy after the delivery. And good morning, bosses. I think I'm posting these videos now in the afternoon. So good afternoon, bosses. Let me center because I hate when I'm not centered. As you can see from the latest vlog, our Saturday and Sunday was not very eventful. I had to combine everything in just one video. So today, to give you a video a day, as promised, I'm going to answer some questions that came through my social media. Um, and these questions, of course, are related to somewhat the content that we do, which is living abroad, investing in real estate and things like that. So every time you have a question, you can ask on the comments here, or you can go to my social media such as Instagram. Most of the Instagram is the one that I use the most or, or LinkedIn, okay? So let's do this. Question number one, what's the main or which are the main advantage to invest in properties in Dubai comparing to other international markets? So to start that, I wanna say that I believe there is a property and a market for every person and every goal. There's no such thing as the best markets to invest or the best property to invest. There is such thing as what is your goal? What do you want to do? In what moment of life are you in? And I will tell you which is the best market. However, this question is directed specifically to Dubai. And I'm not going to compare Dubai to other markets. I'm going to say why it's good to invest in Dubai. I said that many times before. In the last, in the last 10 years that I've been in Miami, and I'm going to use Miami as a comparison, as a, as a benchmark, I saw most of the American continent, including South America, Central America, and North America, buying properties in Miami because of the climate, because of the safety, because of the life uh, cost that is much less than the other because of political issues in case of South America, Texas. And in Miami, people bought from Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, Venezuela, Mexico, a lot of Mexicans buying there and a lot of Americans and Canadians buying there. So everybody's going in that side of the Atlantic, going to Miami for those reasons. Dubai, when you cross the Atlantic, you have Europe, Africa, Asia, Oceania, they all are going to Dubai. Why? Because of the climate, because of the safety, because of taxes. Number one buyers at this moment here in some developers are the British because of taxes, they are avoiding taxes, the French avoiding taxes, Italian avoiding taxes, all buying here in Dubai for that. Living here in Dubai is very good, um, especially between October, November until May, where the weather is amazing. People are in general very polite. Cost of living, I have been seeing some videos that the cost of living in Dubai is high. I don't think so. I go to the market, I go to restaurants and I pay less money than I pay in Miami. Miami is very expensive at this moment. In the US in general with the tipping culture, whatever you order in a restaurant is 25% more plus the, the tech, plus taxes, right? So it's 7% taxes, 8% taxes, or 15% taxes, depending where you are, plus 20 to 25% tip tax that you need to tip. So, so I do believe the market here in Dubai, it's very strong. People are moving here. They are not just buying here for speculation. They are moving here. And I think, and I believe that Dubai for the future, it's a hub. People want to move here. People want to live here. Different from other markets where people are speculating because the price is low. Okay, comparing this market to the other one, the price here is low, so I'm gonna buy there. So once this equates or makes equivalent, people stop buying. Dubai, I don't see that happen the same way I don't see that in Miami. Miami, the price is already up and people are still buying in Miami, it's still a safe place. Why? Because people wanna be there. In Dubai, is the same thing. Question number two. How does it work for a foreigner to buy in Dubai? Are there uh, restrictions or special requirements? Yes and no. Um, it's very easy for a foreigner to buy property in Dubai. If you're buying cash, uh, off-plan property, 
You just need to send the money from your account, whatever it is, to the escrow account. So you don't need to have a bank account here. It's pretty easy. If you're going to get a finance here, then yes. Then uh, you need to, it's better to have a, what you call a residency visa. If you work here, it's going to play better for you because they're going to analyze your income. If you don't work here, your income comes all from outside. You need to make a minimum between six to eight thousand dollars per month. Uh, and on that, they are going to evaluate the price of the property and how much they are going to, to do it. And if you don't want to come here, you don't have to come here. You can uh, have uh, appoint someone to be your power of attorney to sign the documents for you, but they need to be signed here. So either you come or you have uh, your power of attorney. But in general, in general, Buying properties in Dubai is very, very easy and very safe. You send your money to the, to the escrow account and the escrow account is managed by the government. So you know it's safe. And at the day of the closing, you go to the DLD, Dubai Land Department, and do all the transactions there. Do all the transactions mean you go there, you sign, you receive the deed, you make the last payment, if you have to do a last payment, and everything is done. So it's pretty easy. Pretty straightforward. I think it's easier than to buy in Brazil. In Brazil, you need to register yourself as a foreigner. You need to have a code. Then you need to open a company there. It takes a long time. So buying in Dubai is definitely much easier than in Brazil. And I would say that is the same level of easiness to buy in Miami. I think it's even easier to buy here than in Miami. In Miami, a cash transaction will take you between seven to 15 days because you need to do the title search. And here is going to be two or three days max. Number three, investing in off-plan or pre-construction properties in Dubai is safe. What is the potential? What are the potential returns on this type of investment? Number one, yes, is safe. As I was explaining before, every time you buy a property here, you send the money to the escrow account. So one thing that changed here in Dubai, especially after the crash in 2008, is that in 2008, the developers would take the money for the escrow uh, that the, the buyers were putting on the escrow account and use in other projects or to buy land or to build other projects instead of doing that one. So they were collecting money to buy land for the next project and selling the next project to build the previous one. So on the financial crash in 2008, that went south and was a big problem. So now, every time you buy a pre-construction, you put your money in escrow, the developer can only touch that money if he shows to the government that the construction is progressing and now he can disburse this money there. So in financial terms, it's very safe. Like the risk of a company go bankrupt and you lose your property is very low because worst case because they don't commingle the buildings or in worst case scenario you just keep building with the money of the investors so that's very safe now in terms of return that's going to vary depends on which area you're investing which developer you're investing which kind of property you are investing so number one we have the financial we have the fundamentals is very it's very safe but when you go to the specifics, you need to analyze everything. You need to have a good developer, a good area, and a good project. Not all off plans are going to go up. Some developers, I tell my clients, buy after the delivery. If you want to buy, if you really want to buy this one, buy after the delivery. Because most of the people that buy are just aiming to flip. So when everybody receives, they're going to try to sell and the prices go down. So wait on this one. If you want to have capital appreciation, invest in these other kind of uh, developers and properties. So you need to, to have a lot of concerns about it and do your diligence. Number four, which are the neighborhoods with, which are the most promising neighborhoods to invest in property in Dubai for the next year? Definitely there's two kinds. Number one, waterfront. So Dubai Island, Jebel Ali, the new one, Palm Jumeirah, always going to be something good. So those ones are very interesting. If you want to be a little bit edgy, I'm seeing now a, a movement of more developers going to the World Island. So that could be a play, but very long 
and very risky, but the value can be there. Just to have an idea, Palm Jumeirah, when they launched, it was 3 million the villa, now it's 100 million a villa. Now they are launching houses in, 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 in World Island, started at 25, now the, the ones left are between 50 and 75, so maybe that can go up in the future. The second type is whatever is in the south. Dubai is growing to the south. We have the new airport, we have Jabel Ali that is going to bring a lot of investments to that area. So this part, the south, I think they are very, it's very good neighborhoods. If you want, if you, if you want more rental income, you need to be in places where they have the metro station. Uh, because if you want to do like smaller investments, aiming the workforce, you go wherever they have metro stations because those people want to be in those areas. If you want capital appreciation, you go to those areas that I said. Waterfront is always going to be good and whatever is being built on the south. The villas in the south are going for 1.2, 1.3 million dirhams, 1.6. And if you go to other places like Dubai Hills and things like that, the things that the villas are three, four, five millions and up. So I think the South is a good play. Last question. How can I guarantee a good return and asset protection in investing in properties in Dubai? That's a very good question. And when people tell me what's the best place to invest, I, I tell them that's not the correct question to be made. You need to tell me, what you're looking for, a property to live or a property to rent, or you want a property for capital appreciation. You want more money in a shorter time or you want less money perpetually. So those things that you need to look for. If you're looking for return on your investment, like monthly, buying properties in established neighborhoods is a very good idea, especially neighborhoods that they have a community. For instance, JLT, it's a very nice community for short-term rentals, right? You are close to the beach, you're close to the water, you're close to the mall, you are next to the train station. So low-end short-term rental can be good, JLT, GBR, JBR, but they are not communities. When you're talking about communities, I'm talking about Dubai Hills, Town Square, Arabian Ranches, Villa Nova, Mood on. Those are communities. People that live there, they go to the market there, they have the school there, they have the playground for the kids there. Some of those communities, they have a mall there. So when you have a community like this, usually the prices stay more, they are more stable and they grow more because people don't want to just leave their buildings and be on the street. That's a tourist. A tourist wants that. A tourist wants to leave the building and have access to the street, right? When you want to live here, you want to have a community around you. You want to be safe. You, you are safe anywhere, but what I mean is your kids are playing the street and things like that. So closed communities are usually very good to protect your asset, your investment, and give you good profitability in terms of rentals and in terms of capital appreciation. So those are the questions that I received this week, mainly. If you want to send any questions, comment below or reach out to me on Instagram or in LinkedIn. That's where I go. And tomorrow we're back with the regular scheduled content. So approaching your real estate as you approach your portfolio for stock is very important because you need to know where you're putting your money in because you don't want to be overexposed in some kind of assets.